every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Right now, at both locations of Team Honda, the Dream Deal sales event is now even better. For a limited time, get 0% financing on a great selection of certified Hondas. The savings are yours at Team Honda on Seagan Lane in Baton Rouge and Team Honda of Acadiana on I-49, just south of Opelousas. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Hello and welcome as we start this Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours in your little slice of South Louisiana heaven. Since the last opportunity we had to chat with you and yours at home via the internet, etc., etc., etc. We start today's show with a trio of tragic stories here in our beloved Louisiana. The entire law enforcement community in Louisiana today is mourning the death of Deputy Miles Ledette of the Tangipahoa Parish Sheriff's Office. He, described by co-workers as a loving, kind individual, and they are asking that you keep his family in their thoughts and prayers. This is, for most of us, the suicide of a law enforcement officer is hard to come to grips with. Many of us that respect and love those that have sworn an oath to protect and serve often look at them as superheroes. If you've ever done a ride along with a law enforcement officer, if you've ever watched any of the reality shows involving what officers go through on a daily basis, I think most of us would readily agree on our best day, we don't possess the fortitude to deal with on a day in and day out basis what law enforcement is charged with dealing with. Considering the fact that most times they are underpaid, underappreciated, outmanned, outgunned, they still choose as a vocation, a profession, if you will, to do what they do. I'm sure you're probably aware that law enforcement carries as a burden one of the highest rates of suicides of all professions. It is a sad commentary. And if you think about it, dealing with what these guys and girls deal with on a daily basis, it shouldn't really surprise us all that much. As human beings dealing with Death, destruction, crime, things of that nature on a daily basis, it takes a toll on anyone, much less someone that has to deal, it, deal with it with the degree of regularity that law enforcement does. WBRZ noted on their website uh, in reporting this story that the sheriff's office there has released this information in hopes that someone out there or the family of someone that is considering suicide, if they need help, they'll know that they're not alone. There is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, 
800-273-8255. There is also in the Baton Rouge area a 24-hour crisis emergency counseling and emotional support line. That number in the Baton Rouge area, obviously, area code 225-924-3900. 924-3900. It is um, a sad occurrence when anyone finds themselves in a situation where they feel taking their own life is the only way out. And it is doubly impactful when it happens to someone who has sworn an oath to protect and serve. Meanwhile, law enforcement officials in the Crescent City have identified publicly the 75-year-old tourist from Missouri that was found beaten to death in his hotel room. It is a tragic way for one to end a life well spent. It is certainly something that continues to happen all across the country, but this one is particularly impactful because it involves our state. For a state that is known for tourism, there aren't a whole lot of things that present an uglier picture. Uh, according to law enforcement, 75-year-old David Sorensen was taken to a hospital after surviving the attack, but ended up succumbing to his injuries. Law enforcement adds they believe that he was physically beaten to death with the perpetrator's fists as opposed to with a weapon. 29-year-old Martin Furtado was found in the room's bathroom. Officials with the hotel say he was not staying in that room, nor was he a resident at the hotel. He was arrested and charged with second degree murder and booked on a $350,000 bond. Finally, in more tragic Louisiana news, I'm sure by now you've heard the story of the retired priest and a longtime church assistant being found in Covington beaten to death and stabbed before being burned beyond recognition. Funeral services were held for the longtime pastor on Monday and there was an overflow crowd, as you might imagine, of folks showing up to pay their respects. It is uh, a tragic loss to that community, and it, again, goes to show you that anywhere at any time these days, if you are not aware of your surroundings, there is the opportunity for something tragic to happen. Meanwhile, we now have found out that the individual arrested and charged in this case has been transferred to Angola State Penitentiary after attempting to escape from the St. Tammany Parish Jail. Hours after the victims were discovered, police arrested 49-year-old Antonio Tyson of Covington. What is so very tragic about this case in addition to the loss of life, is that the individual charged was a convicted rapist who was released from prison mere months ago. He initially was charged, was sentenced rather, to a 40-year prison term, but was released because he met conditions for early release after serving 31 years. 
it is yet another situation where we as a society have to question ourselves as far as our commitment to criminal justice. Now, listen, I understand full well. It is one of the things that I love about my country is the fact that we are a land of second chances. We believe in giving individuals the opportunity to make right a wrong that they have committed. But the fact of the matter is there are many individuals among us that do not deserve that second chance. It was revealed by law enforcement that in addition to the rape charge, he was also convicted of armed robbery and aggravated burglary. A trio of charges like this should have sent red flags all across the board. But again, in today's society, there is such an emphasis on reform, such an emphasis on not stigmatizing individuals that this inevitably is what it leads to. We are chocked full news outlets all across the spectrum these days about individuals being released early that turn right around and commit heinous crimes. For a 71 year old and a 73 year old who spent virtually their entire lives serving other people and serving other people in God's name to have their lives end like this is a tragic commentary. It is beyond sad and I hope that you and yours, if you are so inclined, will be so kind as to keep the two affected families in both your thoughts and your prayers. And you know, as a man of God, I, I would be remiss if I did not also ask that you remember the family members of the perpetrator of these crimes in your thoughts and prayers. They are in no way, shape, or form responsible for his actions, and I can't begin to imagine what type of burden it must be for the family to have to carry the guilt that typically comes along with a heinous crime of this nature. They had nothing to do with this, but unfortunately, they will carry the burden and probably the stigma as well for the rest of their lives. So if you would also keep them in your thoughts and in your prayers. We are heading into the first break of today's show. When we come back, segment two on Tuesday, and you know what that means, right? Uh-huh. Time for another edition of now that's just stupid. By the way, headlining the list, Florida man. So you know this is going to be good. That's next when we continue the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher. This is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information and then we'll give you the context. We and by the way, we'll give you fun too. Uh, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state, we even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. 
I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. Make the most of every moment together in a three-row Mazda CX-9. Find yours during the season of inspiration. Make no payments for 90 days on a new CX-9 during the season of inspiration at Team Mazda. Hi, gang. Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. It is time for a segment that you never run out of stuff for. In recent memory, in response to the ever-expanding level of stupidity in our country, we've instituted a segment entitled, now that's just stupid. As you see the graphic on the screen, it is not your S-T-U-P-I-D level stupid. You know, ordinary, everyday stupid. Because if you think about it, as humans, all of us have done something at some point in time that's stupid. This level of stupid requires its own spelling. S-T-O-O-P-I-D. As in, now that's just stupid. We start <laughs> with yet another Florida man story. It's become a way of life. It's just a reality these days. Armed robbery in stores, carjackings, individuals, etc., etc., etc. Florida man, only identified by law enforcement as Brad decides to go to a Walmart in Osceola County and rob the place. Sounds good so far, right? Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. The day that Brad decides to go into the Walmart and rob the place was the same day that law enforcement was conducting their shop with a cop day. You can't make this stuff up. This is the day where law enforcement shows up in mass to help children walk through the store, pick out a Christmas gift, and law enforcement pays for it to be sure everyone has something for Christmas. Dude shows up at Walmart. To rob the place, there are 40 law enforcement officers roaming the aisles of the store for shop with the cop day. 
of all the days Brad could have chosen, this was not the one. Law enforcement issuing the following statement. Seriously, we just can't make this up. Brad decided to steal from our good neighbors and partners at Walmart in St. Cloud while we were conducting the shop with a cop event with the children in our community. Bad news, Brad. The store was full of deputies, almost 40 of them, besides the forensics team, the community service team, the CSO's sheriff's office, the Osceola County Sheriff's Office majors, and Sheriff Marcus Lopez. Bad idea, Brad. So not only was the store full of deputies, <laughs> the, for the forensics team was already on the spot, so they were able to seize the weapon, examine the weapon, look at the footage from surveillance. The whole freaking forensics team was there. So it's not like we had to call them out to come and investigate the crime. They were already there for shop with the cop day. <sighs> if individuals of this sort, I am firmly of the opinion, put one-tenth of the amount of energy, thought, and effort into being a responsible citizen as opposed to robbing somebody else, we wouldn't be talking about Brad on, now that's just stool bed. Speaking of, my heart goes out to this woman, but talk about stupid on behalf of her city. Alabama woman, 80 years old, arrested for being late on a $77 trash pickup bill. Law enforcement catching all kinds of heat after arresting this, I'm sorry, 82-year-old woman because she was late on a $77 trash pickup bill. Law enforcement now, and, and to their credit, they don't have but a certain amount of discretion. In this case, a magistrate had signed a warrant for her arrest. So the police officers, obviously, were obligated to arrest her. But what kind of magistrate signs an arrest warrant for an 82-year-old woman because she's late on her $77 trash pickup? As you might imagine, all sorts of folks are stepping up now to pay that bill for her. Good for you, Alabama. And I couldn't have said it better. They interviewed her after being released from jail to find out what the conversation was like with the officers. And she told them, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. That pretty much says it all, other than the magistrate is just flat out stool bed. Finally. <laughs> you kind of knew this was coming, but you didn't expect that it would actually be said out loud. Of course, now, it really should not surprise us all that much when you consider that it came out in an interview on God, I, I, I hate to even say this guy's name. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do on a late night TV show. Because I mentioned something that happened with the Biden administration official last week on a late night talk show. 
And y'all were looking at me like, Clance, I can't believe you watched that crap. No, nah, I just read the story. I don't watch the show. Don't get it twisted. Janet Yellen, Treasury Secretary for the Biden-Harris administration, now says on the late night talk show that inflation, wait for it, is your fault. Now, we've heard that inflation was from this same woman, Janet Yellen, transitory and nothing really to worry about. We also have heard over and over again from the Biden-Harris White House that inflation was because of Putin's price hike. Well, the latest now <laughs> from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is that inflation is your fault. <sighs> According to her, inflation was caused by, and I quote, Americans splurging on goods and technology during the pandemic. Here's a thought. Treasury Secretary Yellen, who was it that put this money in the hands of Americans during the pandemic? But it's your fault for spending the money that the government printed up and handed out willy-nilly during the pandemic. Huh. It was also noted on social media that while blaming the American public for spending the money that they printed and gave to us, there was no mention at all from the Treasury Secretary of the $1.9 trillion American Inflation Reduction Act. It is, I almost let it slip out just now. I almost said it's beyond comprehension. But it's not because that's how they operate. But had it come out, I would have said it's beyond comprehension how they blame everybody other than the culprit. Again, well, this is Putin's price hike. Now, well, it's your fault for spending the money that we printed up, didn't have, and gave away. It is, I don't know what's sadder, that they resort to tactics of this sort, or the number of people that will buy into what they're saying. Have you noticed a pattern here with the current administration? Every single problem that our country's facing is somebody else's fault. Well, let, let me rephrase that. It's somebody else's fault today. Tomorrow is going to be another group's fault. Forget what we said about Putin's price hike being the reason for inflation, now it's your fault. And if you go back through every single problem, you'll see a disturbing pattern. It's this person's fault? Oh, wait, no it's not. It's this group's fault. Uh, wait, upon further review, it's another group's fault. Actually, when we sit down and look at it, it's this group's fault. At what point and this is rhetorical, you don't have to answer because we already know the answer. At what point do you take responsibility for your own actions? Just a question. Bottom of the hour break. When we come back, you knew it was going to happen. The left has lost its mind yet again for the second time behind Elon Musk and Twitter. How much longer 
can free speech survive in the land of the free and the home of the brave? We'll talk about that when we continue the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com Right now, at both locations of Team Honda, the Dream Deal sales event is now even better. For a limited time, get 0% financing on a great selection of certified Hondas. The savings are yours at Team Honda on Segan Lane in Baton Rouge and Team Honda of Acadiana on I-49, just south of Opelousas. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School Prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we get back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. spiders premier pest services Welcome back to the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. If uh, you were paying attention any time since last Friday, you know full well that the left has completely lost its mind after Elon Musk released the, quote, Twitter files that showed obvious collusion and censorship at Twitter over the Hunter Biden laptop story. Not only did Twitter do this, but as you well know, the mainstream media followed suit, went out of their way to be sure that anything and everything having to do with making Joe Biden look bad prior to the presidential election was suppressed. Those of us that are conservatives saw it right off the bat. I mean, you literally would have to be one of two things, blind or ignorant, willfully so, to know what happened there. This is no earth-shaking revelation for those of us on the right. We knew it the moment it happened. Aside from the obvious 
the disrespect for America and what we stand for as it relates to freedom of speech. What is maybe more disheartening for me is the number of people, those on the left, that have no problem with censoring a dissenting opinion. I know, you know, one of the pitfalls of dumbing down America, and particularly in the education system, is how anyone, regardless of where you stand on the political side of the aisle, that anyone would be okay with censoring the opinions of our fellow Americans. It is maybe the most egregious instance that I can think of in recent memory for attempting to sway an election. And, and let's say for the sake of the conversation, this had nothing to do with swaying an election. Just the mere thought that Americans, much less a platform the likes of Twitter, would think it's okay to silence someone's opinion just because you don't agree with it. I've said throughout the course of 40 some years now that I can't stand David Duke or anything he stands for. But when it comes to his right to say how he feels, I will be at the head of the line to defend that right. He's an American. He has that right. And as you've also heard me say countless times, I've never seen it, but I'm sure it has to be buried somewhere in the bowels of the Constitution. It's America. You got a right to be a moron. You have that right. What this says to me, among so many other things, most notably, is that there are individuals out there that are willing to shut you up just because what you're saying does not align with what they agree. But more important, the number of people that buy into the fact that it's okay to silence Americans because we don't agree with them. Those folks are the ones who either weren't taught history or very conveniently forget it as long as it fits their narrative. These are troubling times, y'all. Free speech is arguably one of our most precious constitutional rights. That, of course, and the Second Amendment. Those two reign supreme in my book. And of course now, since this information was released and we understand more is yet to come, the mainstream media, the White House, they're all running cover for this. White House spokesperson, Corrine Jean-Pierre, when questioned about this, said that, oh, well, this is just a distraction. Since when did ensuring one of our most precious constitutional rights become a distraction? Just imagine, if you will, that starting today, you are not allowed to say anything that the government doesn't agree with. Just imagine, starting today, you have no say in what you can say to your fellow Americans. You know, Ronald Reagan was right when he once famously said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. When our country 
is threatened by the mainstream media, big tech, social media, slash. As far as what you can say, you can kiss this country goodbye. Because the fact of the matter is, there is what I call a logical progression. If this happens, there's a good possibility this will happen. If that happens, there's a distinct possibility the next thing is going to happen. And so on, and so on, and so on. How many times have you heard me say, these folks are all about control. What you can or cannot eat. What you can or cannot drive. What kind of light bulb you can or cannot use. What kind of food you can or cannot eat. And the list just goes on and on and on. If we allow this sort of thing to continue, rest assured, it is not going to stop only at what you are allowed to say. You know what's next, right? What you are not allowed to think. It's a logical progression. If we can determine what you are or are not allowed to say, the very next logical step is that you are not allowed to think certain things. Who would have ever thought in the land of the free and the home of the brave that there would be institutions, platforms, major media outlets that feel, apparently, they are the ones that should be allowed to determine what you can and cannot say. You know, I guess it is part of the evolution of the graying of America. And I don't mean this kind of gray. I mean, when I say the graying of America, in recent memory, there were black and white issues. Now, everything is a shade of gray. But for me, freedom of speech is absolute. Lest we forget, we fought a war to form this country because we were tired of that kind of crap, which is why I'm one of those, if, if you ever encounter me out anywhere or here at Old School Barbecue, do me a huge favor. Don't ever ask me anything about the royal family. Don't ever ask me anything about royalty. Because I'm one of those that paid attention in American history class, world history class, and I know full well that we didn't agree with the idea that one single person could wave their hand and decree whatever, and we had to fall in line with that. That's not what we're about in this country. That is not, Joe Biden, how this country is designed to operate. Then again, maybe that's why they're expending so much energy and effort to stop that. When we allow these folks to get to a point where they determine what you can or cannot say to your fellow Americans, what you can or cannot say about any particular political topic, and then go a step further, well, we're not going to say what you can or cannot say. We're just going to hide it from you. We can kiss this republic goodbye, y'all, if we allow this sort of thing to happen. You would think, conventional wisdom would say, the White House would be the most staunch defender of all regarding free speech. But the White House says, oh, this is just a distraction. 
a distraction from maintaining one of our two most beloved constitutional rights? Scary times, my friend. Scary times. But the good news is this sort of stuff can only happen if we allow it to happen. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Red in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontese.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Buck Show. You know, uh, there are many things surrounding COVID-19 that we may never find out. The true origin would probably be at the very top of the list. When and how soon did the government find out about the so-called effectiveness and safety of the clot shot, as it's called in many circles. But maybe more so than any of that, 
will be the emotional and psychological damage done to millions of our fellow Americans as a result of the forced lockdowns. You know, as, as a Louisiana boy, I have always prided myself on how we treat our women. And if you look at recent memory, it's scary. The number of domestic violence cases in our state and the deadly domestic violence incidents in our state. Add to that human trafficking and we obviously have a segment of our society that has mental shortcomings in that regard. The most recent case stemmed out of Baton Rouge where a mother, mother of six actually, I'm sorry, five, murdered by her boyfriend who then abducted their six-month-old child, went on the run, and ended up, we don't have yet confirmation just yet, dying when encountering law enforcement trying to arrest him. I say we don't have confirmation yet because initially it was reported he was killed by law enforcement. Since then, we found out allegedly that he killed himself during the course of attempting to arrest him. The mother of Deja Thomas is now asking those that find themselves in abusive relationships to please speak up. You never know what's going on inside someone's head. And by all accounts, this mother was a wonderful person. She devoted her life to her five kids. And family members, I would imagine, if you were able to speak to all of them, would say, we never saw this coming. It is the psychological damage done to people, something that we may never be able to quantify. And my gut tells me, and I've learned over the years to trust my gut, my gut tells me we are going to be dealing with this for years. Actually, I'm tempted to say we'll be dealing with this for decades. Because as usually the case many times, individuals will not acknowledge that they need help. Individuals will not actively, unless forced to, seek help. It is only when that one thing happens that pushes them over the edge that we end up with horrific results. By the way, Deja Thomas's family is asking if you're able to, to support them in a GoFundMe page for expenses for burial and helping these darling children. It is uh, something Deja Davis, I'm sure, would want you to respond to if you're able, because you, you, you know me after all these years, and it's the same with Deja Davis's situation. I never ask that you give until it hurts. All I ask is that you give. Whatever God lays on your heart, whatever your pocketbook, wallet is able to afford, I'm sure Deja Davis's family would appreciate it. Because at the end of the day, and it, it pains me greatly to say this, but the way our society is going right now, on any given day, at any given time, you might be next. It's a sad commentary. The mental health of individuals in our state and our country has been degraded to the point where Anything can happen anywhere at any time. And if you're like me, you've arrived at a point where 
nothing surprises you anymore. It disappoints you, but it doesn't surprise you. Because at the end of the day, we've seen it over and over and over again. Finally, before we get out of here, I want to give you guys and girls that live in East Baton Rouge Parish the heads up. Mayor Broom's administration is negotiating for a new trash pickup fee in East Baton Rouge. It is projected that your bill will go up $5 a month. And, <laughs> as is the case with just about everything these days, your service will be cut in half. Meaning, you'll pay, if this contract is approved, $5 more a month. And instead of garbage being picked up twice a week, it's only picked up once a week. What's, Marty, the definition of shrinkflation? You pay more and you get less. We're going to keep an eye on this uh, because I can imagine the public outcry over this is probably going to go through the roof. Just saying. Particularly when it's the taxpayers footing the bill, but the taxpayers don't really have any say in this. Finally, I think I have enough time. There is also, speaking of trash, thank you, Marty, there is uh, a new effort afoot to ask our fellow Louisianians to take care of what we have. Y'all stop littering so much. There, there, there's a new emphasis out now on cleaning up our state for the holidays. You know, if you've ever been out fishing, hunting, out in the great outdoors, and you're enjoying the bounty that God has blessed us with, you know there's nothing that ruins that experience more than trash everywhere. It's ours, y'all. Let's take care of it. And at the end of the day, we really shouldn't have to be asked or governed to do so. Take a little pride in what's ours. My time's up. Marty's telling me, you got to go. You got to go. So I'll give it to you. This day, maybe more so than any other in history, you know what? You are spot on. America, we're not perfect. But for this old boy's money, <laughs> it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you do realize that he loves you, right? And I hope you know that I do too. Either way, ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you soon. God bless.